My name is Leander Fair. I'm from Asuncion, Paraguay, South America, and you are watching Trucker Josh Vlogs with these. Good morning from Regina, Saskatchewan. Remember that strong wind coming from the south yesterday? Well, it brought us a whole bunch of windshield washer fluid weather. In 600 meters, take the entrance to the right on Highway 6 North, Highway 11 North, Saskatoon, and then keep to the right in 410 meters. I just wanted to personally thank America for most graciously and kindly. To the right on Highway 6 North, Highway 11 North, and then take the entrance to the That's right rude. 120 meters. Can I talk now? Why am I never allowed to talk? Doesn't matter where I go. Yes, thank you for sending us this warm weather, America. In 600 meters, take the entrance to the right on Highway 11 North Lumsden. I told you I'd tie down as much as I could and bring it back. I did my best. And... In 400 meters, take the entrance to the right on Highway 11 North Lumsden. You are really chatty this morning, Karen. Do I need to find you a manager? chat to them. I don't want to hear from you. I know where I'm going. She gets really chatty when we go through this part of Regina. She gets she gets really excited because this is obviously one of her favorite Five cities. Kilometers. Keep to the right on Lewis Rail Trail, Highway 11. And who could blame her? So uh, tonight we'll be in Fort McMurray as long as everything goes good. The weather is fine. So fine. And we'll be there in about 12 hours of driving. So we're about 11, well, 1,109 kilometers away, like 750 miles. We have 13 hours available to us from the time our wheels started rolling here in Regina. So it shouldn't be a problem to get there. Weather is supposed to be good all the way up there. It's only supposed to be minus three tomorrow in Fort McMurray, which is three degrees above freezing. That's Celsius, not Fahrenheit. I have a feeling we're gonna have to stop for some washer fluid though. Especially if these guys in front of me don't decide to do the speed limit. Come on, bud. Come on, get that Ford in gear. I know you're trying as hard as you can, but I think you can do the speed limit in that thing. Ford has come a long way. Come on, get that thing up to the speed limit. Come on, you even got the wind helping you here. There you go. Oh, yeah, you should probably get off the highway. If you can't do the speed limit in that thing, you should probably just get off the highway. There you go. That's a good Ford. All of this beautiful warm weather that America has shared with us so generously is sure making a mess of my truck. Man, look at these messy roads. But don't mistake this for complaining. I love it. You see that? All that mess? That means the snow is melting. Keep it up, I'll take some more, please. Keep sending it up, America. And also, because I'm going north, I'm finally catching a break, the first time this month. All month I've been going against wind, all of January. It seems every direction I point my nose, I'm going against wind. This trip, Ever since I hit the Canadian border, the wind has shifted and has been pushing me north, saving me tremendous, tremendous, huge amounts of fuel. And in turn, saving me lots of money. So thank you. I, I'll be okay if I got to fight against it going south. I'm not going to complain about that. I, I want that warm weather. Keep to the left on Highway 16 West for Battle Forts. I'm doing the best I can to do everything I can to heat heat up the climate. Uh, I'm doing what I can, but we still have extremely cold winters here, and this is a nice little break. We're going to 
gonna grab some fuel here at the Flying J. Uh, grab a coffee. No, wait, I'm not gonna grab fuel. I'm gonna grab coffee. So maybe I should grab fuel. Fuel up my DEF while I'm here. Uh, no, no, we're gonna grab fuel in Lloydminster. It's a really warm day out, so I don't have to worry about going below half a tank. Let's just quickly run in here, grab a coffee, and run back in out. One kilometer, keep to the left on Highway 16 West to Battlefords. We can fuel up our DEF in in Fort McMurray. I still got plenty. I got like three quarter tank, and the DEF tank lasts oh, a week, uh, even more, at least a week of solid, good driving every day. I never really checked to see how long it lasts because I don't want to run out of DEF. Very bad if you do. Your truck will shut down. In 400 meters, keep to the left on Highway 16 West to Battlefords. No, Karen. I just said we're going to go fuel the Flying J first. You don't listen to me. Apparently, I don't listen to myself either because I told myself I'm not going to fuel. And I said I was going to fuel. We're not fueling, but we are going to pull into the pumps to wash off our windshield and our side mirrors and stuff so that I can see what's behind me. Because what's important is what's in front of me, but it's also important to be able to see what's behind you. Especially when you want to make lane changes. Or just if you're curious, you know, it's always good to know what's behind you. You never know. Good fuel here. Since we're here already, then we don't have to stop in Lloydminster. You know what? Let's do it. Whatever. Let's do it. We're going to fuel here. Let's do it. Change my mind. Karen, I'm as bad as you. I'm just changing my mind all the time. All right, so we're all filled up with fuel, all filled up with diesel exhaust fuel. Diesel exhaust fluid. Not a fuel. And we got our coffee. And we are on our way. We don't have to stop again for fuel to Fort McMurray. You have nine hours and 22 minutes of remaining drive time. And at midnight, I'll get an extra 20 minutes because I drove 20 minutes past midnight in yesterday. Meters, turn right on. Mark is driving then. Turn left into 160 meters. Yeah, it's all looking good. 859 kilometers left to go. That's 530 miles or so. We are looking for coffee in St. Paul, Alberta. There's got to be a place around here somewhere that sells coffee that also has parking for semis. it has got to be. It's a pretty big town. So we are in Alberta which means everything is just a little bit bigger and nicer. <laughs> this is the downtown stretch. I'm guessing there will probably be a Tim Hortons. I'm going to get out of this right lane. I don't like skimming right past all these parked cars. All of a sudden the kid's going to run out in front of me. Or anyone, really. I'm guessing on the other side of town there should be... Oh, there's a 7-Eleven coming up. Should be parking around there. Let's see. See if I can park somewhere over here. No, of course all the parking disappears right in time for 7-Eleven, right? Let's see. Park anywhere around here? Could I put the, the getaway, park anywhere and get away with the flashers, you think? Oh, wait, there's parking right here. Yep. Ha-ha! Aha! Good. I'm gonna walk over to 7-Eleven and get a coffee then. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, guys. We'll talk to you in a bit. So we got uh, another four and a half hours or so to drive. We got a little bit of a little bit of ground to cover yet. Just gonna 
let everybody know. I'll do a load check while I'm here. Check the tires, mark that into the logs. I need a coffee. I think this will be the last one today. Four hours. So from here north, um, that's a few towns I gotta go through yet, but uh, for the most part, it's just secluded wilderness that we're gonna be going through for a couple of hours. So I wanna make sure that I got everything I need now. And that includes coffee. We made it here in Fort McMurray. Oh, and there goes a coyote off to the left. Running across that part of the road. No, yeah, that's a coyote, yeah. I'm glad I tied my load down pretty well because the road up here to Fort McMurray hasn't changed much. I see one guy parked on the street here already, so I'm guessing there's no room at the inn. I'm gonna go check it out anyway. And uh, if not, then I will come and join this fine fella right here and park on the street. This is an, that says do not enter. Trucker Josh, do not enter there. That is an exit. I could have been a rebel. What you gonna do? Could have gone in there. Middle of the night. All right, petrol pass, Fort McMurray. What you got for me? You got any parking spots for me? Any room at the inn for me? Did anybody save me a spot? No one ever saves me spots. Let's see. Let's see. I don't think I can park. No, I don't think I can park beside this guy here. This guy's parked right in the middle like that, taking up a ton of spaces. How about this? Any room back here? Aha! This might be a spot. Aha! There's a spot here for me. Aha! Diesel! You found your spot, man! Congratulations! Thank you. Thank you. No one ever congratulates me. This has got to be the last spot here. I think this is a spot. It's a spot now. Let's see. You have one hour and five minutes of remaining drive time. And we made it with plenty enough time. I don't know. So my delivery appointment tomorrow is at 10:30. I got to be at the site to meet them at 10. So I'm probably going to get up at about 8:30. 45, have coffee, have breakfast, stretch out. Why am I posting that I'm doing a pre trip? I'm doing, I'm doing a post trip. There we go. So, yeah, I'll get up a little earlier and get that all done, get ready for the day, and then gonna go quickly get this unloaded. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Then we run north of town to grab some lumber, which is going down to Iowa. Somebody down in Iowa, again, needs some Canadian lumber. And they have tasked me with bringing it to them. I am honored. So just let me tell the world here what's going on. Let the, the load gods know that I am here. I gotta do a bunch of paperwork. This used to take forever to do all this paperwork. Now all I gotta do is wait for this annoying computer because it lags so much. It's 2020, we shouldn't have any lag on our computers anymore. And then I'm gonna crawl back there, I'm gonna read some of my book. And go to bed. Uh, the time now is 12.35 a.m. So I'll be getting up at 8.35. That's about eight hours. I'll be starting my day around, technically starting my day around, uh, I guess, gotta be there by 10. I'll probably leave here at like quarter to 10, 9.45, me gotta do my pre-trip. But 9.30 is when I'm gonna start my day. And uh, legally in Canada here, I only have to stop for a consecutive eight hours before I can start my next day. So that'll give us nine hours. We'll be good to go. All hours no, you already told me that. Why are you talking to me again? It's bedtime. Go to bed. Bedtime. You too. It's bedtime. Go to bed. 
time for me to go to bed. Actually, I gotta walk this fella over here first. Hey, Will, how would you like to go outside? Huh? You like to go outside? You haven't eaten your supper yet. Why didn't you eat your supper? I work hard to put food on the table. Why don't you eat your supper? This wasn't hungry, man. Jeez. Calm down. I'll eat it later. You better. That's expensive food, man. That's the premium stuff. We have to have them on special foods because our other dog, Chevy, is allergic to life itself. He's allergic to everything. So we had to find a very specific grain-free food which doesn't have chicken in it, which doesn't have grains in it, which doesn't have all this other stuff in it. And I figured I'd just put diesel on the same food right away as them too. Then we don't have to buy like so many different kinds of dog food. We have them all in the same food. It's not the most expensive food out there, but it is some, it is specialty food for a specialty weasel. That's right, man, darn tootin', man. I'm a special weasel. Look at me, look at me. Get a good look. You wanna sniff me too? No, I'm good. No. I'm good. I don't, I don't need a sniffy. No, no, totally, man. I'll turn around for you and everything if you want to. Really helps you get to know somebody. Humans don't, no. Humans don't work that way, man. Humans, no. That's weird. I'm tired. Good night, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. The weasel and I are going to be here again tomorrow. Hope to see you here. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know you're there. Let me know you're breathing. Hit the like button if you like the video. See you later.